Welcome to How Bad Is It, the series that looks at overly advertised mobile games and answers one simple question, how bad is it? Today's game, we're gonna be looking at Primitive Era 10,000 BC. You guys have probably seen this overly played mobile game ad. <laughs> Well, today we're gonna download the game and actually find out how bad is it for Primitive Era 10,000 BC. Let's go. Now, surprisingly, this game, Primitive Era 10,000 BC, actually has over a million downloads. So there's a lot of people that have been playing this game. What we're gonna do is we are going to install this game and suffer through it just for you. And you know it's gonna be a good game when it's all of 145 megabytes. Oh boy, we're two seconds into the game and we already have a chick in a bikini, basically. So we gotta cut down a bunch of trees. This is a wood cutting simulator of a game. I don't really know what any of these things do. I'm just clicking buttons to upgrade and I guarantee you this is another time-based. We need wood and energy and time and fruit and gems in order to be able to build something. Logging shed. Yes, we will build the logging shed. So now we have a logger. Let's try and put wood in the charcoal kiln. So now we have someone going out there and giving us wood and we can put that wood in here. You know the problem with these games is there's all these little stupid micro steps that you just don't even need to do at all. Like get a guy and get him to cut some wood and then bring that wood to the storage and then move it from the storage to the charcoal kiln and then move that charcoal to the fire and then move it from the fire to the cooking and then move it. It's like, I don't, I don't, why? Like I don't want to do any of this. So now I have to build a kiln. We're going to upgrade. And I use my one gem. Aha, this is where they introduce gems into the game. Level two already, Lord. I am the best at this game. Professional video gamer. Oh no, we've run out of meat. We've run out of meat. What will we do? That's like me every day. I have to order DoorDash literally every day. <laughs> Thought our supplies would last longer. Well, it wouldn't. I need to explore the forest and bring back more food. All right, good luck with that. I'm sure. Look, he's got food. He's got, the, he's got the deer, eat the deer. And we gotta cut more trees. Everything comes down to cutting the trees. This is a lumberjack simulator. Wait a minute, is that berries we've discovered? We have to chop down the berry tree in order to get the berries. And then it gave us meat, that doesn't make any sense. The berries drop raw meat and wheat. What is happening? I'm just trying to understand here. Aha, uh -huh. well, there's water for the first time. Let me guess, she's gonna go fishing? Can we go fishing? That is a bear. Hello, bear. You got some in your mouth there, buddy. A beast, help. Aha, uh -huh. strong Chad is here to defend you. She needs our help. Let's build an infantry barracks. Can you imagine there's a bear and a guy shows up? He's like, oh, there's a bear. Let's go recruit the military. It's like, dude, there's a bear right now. It's fine. We will build an infantry barracks in order to save her life. We're starting to cut our way into this forest though. More wood. Everything only requires wood. Doesn't matter what it is, wood is the answer. Yes, I would like to train them and I would like to speed it up because our person is currently getting mauled by a bear. Aha, defend her. Get the bear. Oh, one guy didn't make it. Who else is not? Two guys didn't make it. And then he ran away, we didn't even get the bear. If we have a sentinel camp, we'd be able to know of the possible threats beforehand and make the necessary, ah, so the only way they could have been aware of the bear is if we had built a watchtower. So now, they do the most extreme response to everything. It's like, oh no, one person didn't detect a bear. Let's build an entire sentinel camp for this. Oh no, someone's getting attacked by a bear. Let's go recruit five new military men to try to defeat the bear. It's like, just, just do the thing, just do the thing. So he goes out and finds interesting things for our Chad Wackathus to go out there and cut down some trees with. May the sun god be praised, we finally meet again. I didn't know this was a Dark Souls reference. If hunting and gathering alone are not enough, we must become self-sufficient. Isn't that what we already are? Are we not already self-sufficient? I don't see any loot crate showing up. May or here are some seeds I collected along the way. That's the opposite of self-sufficient. You're providing for them. We're gonna build a farm, here we go. I would like to upgrade it, please. So now we have an upgrade. Aha, food, wheat. So that's how grain grows, amazing. Sure, we need a passable road for this building. Dude, you have like three buildings in your town. You don't need a, a road. What do we have to do now? We need more villagers to do literally anything. How do we actually train more villagers? How do I get more villagers? I don't understand. You would think they would have uh, taught me the game it was through like a tutorial or something through the last 20 minutes. So we are stuck um, waiting for villagers. So we've built a bonfire plaza and now everyone can rest here. So does the bonfire plaza give us more villagers where we can continue? Cut down the tree. There's just too much tree cutting in this game. I, 
I, I feel like I'm playing RuneScape again. I should have 99 wood cutting by now. Aha, we got 50 rubies. I'm sure that that has nothing to do with the speeding up or pay the win mechanics or anything like that. I'm sure rubies are a totally natural part of a primitive era. Where are we getting foods? Oh, we got that. We got the speed up. Time altering machine has been found within the tree some, for some reason. Okay, that's enough confusion for me in this game. All in all, if I had to rate this game, I would say I can see how it can be kind of fun. Mm, maybe like a four out of 10. It's, it's pretty boring standard, like build a city farm some tomatoes. I'm good on this one, but if you want to try the game out, we'll have a link down below, or you can install it for some reason if you want to. I'll see you guys on the next one.